Marcus Conti reporting on the starvation crises in Venezuela. Or is it? So I stumbled on this uh, investigative uh, journalist this is from the Gray Zone. I don't know if you guys found this thing yet. Right? But there's a guy, right? he's an investigative journalist, and he made his way down to Venezuela, and he went shopping, trying to find food because there is none, trying to find supplies because there is none. Check this shit out, man. So here he is. This guy is, uh, let's, uh, let's start here. Let's start here, right? So... Here's, here's, the, here's And what is on the plane are basic goods, things that aren't available or accessible in Venezuela, things like uh, nutritional biscuits, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, uh, just basic commodities that aren't available or readily available to Venezuelans right now because of the regime that they're currently living under. So that's what, that's, that's CNN, right? That's what they've been telling us, right? That's the, that's the news on the ground, CNN, the most trusted name in, in news, right? Fucking watch that. We're at a supermarket in Caracas called Gama. Uh, Pulitzer right here. N this guy, Pulitzer Prize right here. I, I feel uh, lost in the supermarket coming here in Caracas. This is cheeses. There's a lot of cheeses and meats here. People here like meat. And I thought there was nothing. I thought the, uh, the shelves were empty. What happened? a lot of meats. Fish heads, fish heads, roly-poly fish heads. Okay, we got like congealed meat. We got like so much meat. There's a lot of meat here. I mean, a lot of tomato sauce. You can see the aisles are pretty full of stuff. I mean, they got a whole aisle for pasta. A lot of people love yogurt here. Man. The the cruelty of this dictatorship prevents them from having 0% Greek yogurt. There's energy drinks, all That's kinds funny. of drinks. Sugars. I don't know what this says. Does it say Maduro is using hunger as a weapon to enforce communism among his people? To make children, he's forcing children to smile. Here you can see something serious with the speculation is the pet food. You know, pet food is here. This one costs 66,000 bolivars. Wow. Uh, which is um, tw over $20. For so it's the exact opposite, right? It's the exact opposite of what, what the fake news is telling us, right? Someone said, you know, go down there and fucking see for yourself. Go down there and see for yourself. They're fucking starving. Well, this guy did it for us, man. That's the problem here. The problem isn't scarcity. The problem is inflation and speculation brought on by the capitalist class of this country. Got my toilet paper. This will help with the Pollo Crispy sandwich that I just ate. This toilet paper has chamomile, manzanilla's yeah, chamomile, chamomile, which relaxes your butt. And then aloe vera will cool your butt off. There's a lot of eggs over there. There's some broken eggs over here. Wasting food in Maduro's dictatorship, just throwing it away. This is the fruit section. We got, man, we got a lot of mangoes. I don't know what that is. I learned this in camp. Does this have chamomile and um, aloe vera? No, oh, it has chamomile. The bottom line is there's just rows and rows and rows of food. We'll play another video after this. Uh, he, he did too, right? and there's another one where he goes into the poor neighborhood. This is the, the wealthy neighborhood where, where speculation is what he's saying, is a speculation. The speculation, somehow they're hoarding the food, driving the prices up on the shelves, selling it to a select group of people that have that kind of money. But in the rest of the country, that's not really what's going on. It's, it's actually uh, not as bad as this. Well, we'll see. This is chamomile. Chamomile, manzanilla. Thank you, Maduro. Okay, well now we're in the pharmaceutical section. Toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes. Uh, just basic commodities that aren't available or readily available to Venezuelans right now because of the regime that they're currently living under. Oh, aloe vera. That'll go, that'll match with my toilet paper, the aloe vera. <laughs> Finally found my shampoo and conditioner. It took me like a while to do that because there are so many varieties. 
Damn you, Maduro! We're now in the pharmacy. Si está bien, pero no hay algo con uh, aloe vera y manzanilla. No. Pinche Maduro. No es un uh, mercado socialista con donde hay todos gratis. No. Es un, un mentira que todo es socialismo en Venezuela. Sí. Sí. Y lo, lo, los hmm. precios de algunas cosas son malos porque es especulación, ¿sí? Sí. De los capitalistas ¿sí? de Colombia y todo. So it's not a socialist. You see, it's capitalism. It's you know, see what it is. It's it's hyper capitalism is what it actually is. It's choking one part of the country that actually has a system that works, and the capitalists came in and choked it, running up the market for their own greed. So they can't get rich in Maduro's, you know, in in a in a in a, a, a equal kind of a place. So they create a, they create crises. That's what it is. That's what's going on. Say, it's triste. All right, now finally we get to get the rum, maybe some beers. Let's see what else he's got in. So he's shopping for beer, stuff I've never heard of. Shopping the for liquor. Portuguese, Chilean, Argentinian, and French champagne, and Spanish the champagne. champagne. Uh, here's the summer. Leadership of the dollar controls the world. Okay, so I, I had a pretty normal experience at the supermarket. I was able to get pretty much everything that I usually get back home in the States, including like this bag of craft beer. Um, until I couldn't, my credit card didn't work and I had to pay in cash, I paid in dollars. And that really shows what the problem is here that I had to pay in dollars. Um, there isn't an issue here with food distribution or food scarcity. The issue is the buying power of Venezuelans has been completely destroyed because their currency has been so badly weakened by hyperinflation, speculation, and the flood of dollars that the government can't control here, as well as hoarding by private capitalist elements that support the opposition and are making a ton of money off of this kind of economic war. And that's something you really won't know if you watch U.S. media on Venezuela. And that's why we're here, the gray zone, to break the media blockade. Thank you, man. Oh. Fucking awesome, man. These guys are doing great work. So here he is in a, uh, in a, a, a fair or some sort, some sort of street um, place, a street market, a street festival. I'm Macarao in the outskirts of Caracas at a food market where food is being sold below market value, subsidized by the city of Caracas, overseen by the mayor of Caracas. And you can see behind me is toothpaste, which CNN has said does not exist in Venezuela. And what is on the plane are basic goods, things that aren't available or accessible in Venezuela, things like uh, nutritional biscuits, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, uh, just basic commodities that aren't available or readily available to Venezuelans right now because of the regime that they're currently living under. So, I mean, here you have all the basic foodstuffs, pasta, flour, they're focusing on protein here, so you have a fish stand and it's being sold well below market rate, as you can see from the prices. Uh, this is uh, salted fish. Puedo probarlo? Sí. Tengo hambre, entonces. It's pretty good, it's really good. And here we have uh, ground up chicken uh, made in Venezuela, which is being sold for about a dollar twenty-five or 3,800 bolivares, and then over. So also, the, the other thing to note is that gasoline, gas for, for automobiles, is dirt cheap. It's like three cents to fill up your whole car. So it's essentially free, and uh, as well as uh, the mass transit system. So food at, at below cost, right? So where is the problem? Humanitarian crises? There, there are packages, large packages of meat, and back here you can see all the vegetables and also what you can see are train tracks because there's an actual metro system in Caracas that services this community the infrastructure is actually pretty decent there goes a train uh, Caracas is a massive city with a massive metro system and you can see that train is full of people and it's basically free so sardines and uh, vegetable oil here more protein and this is the bread stand 
Uh, it's really cheap. So it's being sold. The big, the large breads are being sold for 2,000 bolivares, which is less than $1 for all that bread. Uh, you can get two of these for 50 cents. And uh, bread with coconut is being sold for l uh, less than a dollar, about 75 cents. Um, and so it's basically, for me, it's basically free, and here it's still well below market value. She's saying we're at, we're at peace here in this uh, area, and we don't want war. No, no quieren guerra. No, señor. Ni extranjeros tampoco queremos aquí que nos vengan a hacer la guerra aquí en Macarao. Y no, no, no neces, nos necesitan uh, ayuda humanitaria no, de los Estados Unidos. No, señor. They don't need the humanitarian aid from the U.S. Y tienen todo lo que necesitan. Sí, señor. Sí. sí. Lleve esa noticia ya, que no que necesitamos nada. She's saying, tell the news that that, the, the truth. Lo que queremos que nos quiten el bloqueo que nos tiene los Estados Unidos a Venezuela. Oye, somos libres. Aquí en Macarao, en toda Venezuela, somos paz, somos amor, y vivimos todos conjuntamente. Yo, mi amor. Okay, so this is handmade soap, and they go through a lot to produce this, and you were in contact with the producer and brought it to the market. And this is it, it makes you wanna it makes you wanna cry when you when you realize how bad we're being duped in this country to the the lies that are being told Pompeo and all 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 our all our elected officials all our our sworn government people are lying to us they're lying for for capitalist profit for speculation right. Get in there, get the oil, get a piece of the action, right? That's all it is. It's not, it's, it's not a humanitarian crisis. It's a really nice soap. It's an all-women produced soap. Mm. All-women produced soap. Mm. <laughs> She's taking away a fat bag of food. Uh, that, for la semana. Ciao, Manuel. Gracias. Un million. We're at an open air market in El Valle in Caracas, very similar to uh, Parroquia Macarao. These people behind me are volunteers who are distributing food provided by the government to be sold at well below market value. And so again, you have bread over there for less than a dollar. Right behind me is just a whole lot of meat, bags and bags of meat. And people here seem to have uh, as much food as uh, they can purchase. There are hundreds of people waiting outside to come in, and you can see someone picking up their food right here, getting pasta. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, man. So, what what's the takeaway, man? You saw. You saw a lot of lying going on, right? So there is a crisis, right? There is a, a economic problem of some sort, right? Where they have this, this issue of, uh, of uh, sanctions, right? right? There's some kind of, somebody's fucking up their economy, right? The economy is fucked up, right? There's, there's some kind of balance, right? Because they're an oil-rich nation and that money could easily sustain this kind of lifestyle right but somebody doesn't want it to happen somebody wants to paint a picture of an evil dictator who's eating their children and 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 killing people right that it's just it's an illusion so uh the idea that uh hands off venezuela sticks man thank you the gray zone brilliant brilliant stuff man really i mean this is this was this guy, here he is, man. He's got 84,000 views on that one. This one's got a quarter of a million views. I would definitely subscribe. I'm going to subscribe right now. Yeah, I subscribed. <laughs> All right, so so uh, so that was pretty cool, right? Marcus Conte, Marcus Conte reporting on the Venezuelan pseudo crises, the fake news Venezuelan crises. We need to help these people, man. We need to get this message out there that it's that it's a farce. That the whole thing is a farce. It's a it's a made up story. Marcus Conte reporting.